what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? One of the biggest news stories today is that of a 25-year-old black man named Ahmad Arbery who was murdered by two white men as he jogged. These white men go by the name of Gregory and Travis McMichael. They are son and father. Now, news has surfaced that Gregory McMichael, the father, who was a former police officer and investigator for the DA's office, was also a vigilante for the police department. Yeah. So there's a text message exchange between Larry English, the owner of the house that was under construction that Ahmad is said to have entered at some point prior to him being murdered, and a police officer whose name is Rash. I don't know if that's first name or last name, but the name on the phone call is at least Rash. And in that exchange, the officer tells Larry English, your neighbor at blank address is Greg McMichael. Greg is retired law enforcement and also a retired investigator from the DA's office. He said, please call him day or night when you get action on your camera. Larry English's attorney, Elizabeth Grady, confirmed the text message is real and that it was received in a batch of emails a few days ago. Travis and Greg McMichael are currently being charged with felony murder and aggravated assault in the shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery. Now, why in the hell would it be so important for Gregory McMichael to reach out and tell this guy, the homeowner, that he can give him a call if he gets any type of action on his camera? Why is it so important that he get the call? First and foremost, He's not even law enforcement. He didn't have a, a license, a certificate, anything to act with the authority of law enforcement. So he would be out of pocket, breaking the law. This is no surprise. It's been said a while ago that the Klan infiltrated law enforcement. This is why these police departments won't get rid of these terrorists, these domestic terrorists, people that look like this dude. They do the bidding of many in law enforcement. That's why they keep them around. That's why they won't get rid of these militias, these anti-government militias, the ones that walk around waving guns, trying to intimidate people, walking into subways, carrying assault rifles. This is why they don't go in on them, because that's their backup. Those are their goons. Those are the street goons. And the only time that they will go in on one or eliminate one is when one goes rogue. You go too far left. They'll let them get radical. Oh, they get radical, radical, radical. And they'll let them talk all the shit that they want to talk. Now, if they move in a fashion where they become too dangerous and they betray the thug trust of law enforcement, then they got to go get them. They got to take them down. Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes they get so emboldened that they feel they're strong enough to go up against the actual government. They're never that strong. Anything that they get away with, the government is allowing them to do it. Anytime they go and try to intimidate people, anytime they're walking around with the guns and challenging law enforcement and all that kind of stuff, 
they're allowing them to do that because they could roll on them anytime they wanted to. They choose not to because those street thugs are their guns. The reason why they didn't arrest Gregory McMichael because Gregory McMichael is one of their goons. I can see right now. I can see it right now. I'm on the scene. Gregory, good job. Oh, you got him good. Good job. And then that one or two cops who wanted to arrest him was trying to say something and then they came through. Hey man, just leave that alone, man. You don't want that. You don't want to deal with that. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. That's Gregory, man. Leave him alone. You trying to you mean tell me you're gonna arrest this man and, and his son who's just protecting the neighborhood? You're gonna take this them away from this their mother, their wife. Man, you man, you're out of line, man. You're out of line. You know, you, you, need to, you need to get over there and think about it, man. Go walk over there, man. Just just get him in front of me. Get him in front of me. Give me 50 feet. Little oh, give me 50 feet. The reason why they was not arrested on the spot is because they are vigilantes for the police. It's as simple as that. And guess what? The cat is out the bag. All that's left to do now is clean up the litter. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?